falling, falling, falling for you. Maybe I'm yeah. falling, 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 falling for you. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with another reaction video. This one was not requested, but the person has been requested a while ago, but I have not got around to do any of his things. So we're back with him. Oh my God, I love him. He is so funny and amazing. We're back with another one from Zach Russian. And this one is sim it's simply out of respect. I wonder what he got going on on this one. So, guys, if y'all watching, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn your post notifications. Comment down below any more suggestions. And we're going to get right on into this video. I'm already super excited because I know what he got going on. It's going to be funny. <laughs> but let's go. Let's go. Let me tell y'all a little story about how I almost got my ass whooped by a black man during Black History Month. And by the end of the conversation, he was hugging me and telling me, thank you for thinking the way that I think. I got a call last night from a buddy of mine, black buddy of mine, same guy that asked me to go to the black cookout. He said, hey, man, how you doing? I said, good, man, been a long time. He said, I know it. He said, hey, look, I need a favor. I said, all right, buddy, what you got? He said, man, inner city baseball league's about to start back up, and because of everything going on and them having basically the whole world shut down, we have had zero time to do any kind of fundraising for the, for the inner city baseball league. Would you consider sponsoring a team? I said, hell yeah, I'll sponsor a team. I'm all about youth sports, 100%. I said, I'm down like four flats. He said, are you really? I said, absolutely. I said, uh, can you meet me at the gas station in 20 minutes? I'll cut you a check. He said, yeah, buddy, I'll meet you there. So I grabbed my checkbook and like a bat out of hell, I headed to the gas station. Now I'm sitting there waiting and my buddy pulls up and recognized his car. My buddy gets out and an older gentleman gets out, an older black man. He introduces me and it just so happens to be that that older black man is the head guy in charge for the inner city baseball league. And he brought him to tell me thank you, which was completely unnecessary, but I really did appreciate it. Now, the older man had seen my black cookout video and he was just jokingly <laughs> asking me, he said, hey buddy, you going to another black cookout for Black History Month? And before I could even answer, my buddy turned to him and said, Zach doesn't celebrate Black History Month. The amount of rage that come over this man's face was absolutely, it, it was ungodly. But I had already had this conversation with my buddy years ago and got him to understand why I don't celebrate Black History Month. And he was thankful. The old man looked at me and he said, you don't celebrate Black History Month? I said, no, sir. He looked at me again. He said, do you care to like elaborate why? I said, absolutely. And I looked at him. I said, sir, I have absolutely no idea what it's like to walk around in America as a black man. I have absolutely no idea what it's like to be judged by the color of my skin in today's day and time. I have absolutely no idea what it is like to have a complete history of absolute hatred bestowed upon me simply because of the color of my skin. Mm -hmm. For me to celebrate Black History Month is an insult to you. You don't celebrate a team's win if you're not on that team. What you can do as a decent person is you can honor their win. Mm -hmm. You can respect their win. And you can be happy for them that they won. For having to overcome ungodly obstacles for the simple fact of just being looked at as a normal human being and an equal. He just kind of looked at me. He was kind of taken back by the whole ordeal. Mm -hmm. I told him, I said, sir, for me to sit there and tell you openly that I celebrate Black History Month is an insult to your entire race. What I can assure you is that I am in full support of it. I honor it mm -hmm. and I respect it to the highest power. And I told him, I said, because buddy, when we all get to them pearly gates up there, the man upstairs doesn't care about color. He cares about decency. Mm -hmm. I told him, I said, do you really think if I had any kind of hate in me at all, that I would be down here cutting you a check for a league that interacts inner city black and white kids together? I would not be here. He said, no, you have a point. I said, I, that's right. I have a point for the fact that I don't see color. Just mm -hmm. because I'm a redneck, talk with a draw and spit tobacco doesn't mean that I'm holding on to the old ways. And believe it or not, contrary to most people's popular belief, there is the majority of rednecks out there who do not think that way. True. There is prejustices given to rednecks the same way there is prejustices given to black men and women. He just he's kind of taken back at this point. He kind of steps back, and he's yeah, you can tell he's thinking real hard. Like this white man is basically telling me right now that he doesn't celebrate Black History Month, but I can't argue with why he doesn't. He looked at me. He says, "So basically, you're telling me." 
that you don't celebrate Black History Month because you don't have the right to. I said, you're exactly right, sir. Mm -hmm. He said, do you think there's some more of you out there? I said, buddy, I got a company called Bass Bucks and Birds. He said, yeah, I know about it. I said, you're writing a check from I said, yeah, absolutely. I said, there, my, my Facebook page is predominantly rednecks because that's all I talk about is hunting, fishing, and stuff like that. He said, yeah. I said, I guarantee you if I do a fundraiser for the inner city baseball leagues to help out the children to make sure that they're able to play this year, regardless of what color they are, you will see more support than you've ever seen in your whole life. He said, do you really think that? I said, I don't just think that, sir. I know that. He said, would you do that? I said, I'll do it. I'll do it tomorrow morning. So, like I said, from Bass Bucks and Birds, which is my outdoor company, which is probably predominantly white, any subscription box that is bought from my company for this month, the proceeds are going to the inner city kids. I'm going to show them, not just tell them, I'm going to show them that there is decent people out there regardless of the color of their skin and regardless if they talk with a draw. I am not only going to express to him the fact that I'm that way. I'm going to prove to him that the old days and the hatred that people will think that they're holding on to and this, that, and the other is gone. And if you're one of them idiots that holds on to that kind of hatred, you have absolutely no business at all on my page. At all. Like I was talking about the preconceptions and stuff, just because I'm a redneck, I'm the opposite of racist. I'm well known for going to my first black cookout, which I was shown more respect there than I ever have in my life. And I will continue throughout my life to match that respect in every way, shape, and form. So if you want to be a part of it and you want a subscription box from me, go to the link in the description and buy a subscription box because I'm fitting to support that whole league. I told him, I said, I do honestly believe that the amount of people on my page and the amount of people that have let go of the hate and has finally accepted the fact that we are all God's children I can get you enough support to fund this whole league. So if you want to be a part of it, click the, li click the link in the description. And if you're one of the people that's holding on to hate, hit that unfollow button because you got no business at all mm -hmm. on my page. I love everybody, and that's always going to be the case. Shit. Oh, my gosh. That got me teary-eyed. Ooh. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, 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 my gosh. I don't even know what to say, but I I felt it like, oh, my gosh. We definitely need more people like him. The way his thought process, I can see and I understand. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Ooh, that, ooh. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. Out of, out of respect. Mm. This is the one, this is one of the ones that actually got me like, uh, uh, I don't know what to say, but I hope y'all guys enjoyed this reaction. Let me know in the comment section down below if y'all like to see me do some more of his stuff. <sighs> Hit the subscribe button so that you can be notified every time I post. Oh my gosh. And until next time, we are out of here. Peace.